Tired of dealing with annoying flies, fruit flies, and gnats in your home? The Zevo Flying Insect Trap is your ultimate solution. Don't wait. Check out the link in the video description now to get your Zevo Flying Insect Trap on Amazon and enjoy a bug-free home today. A chip shop owner has slammed one of Britain's wildest cycle lanes for killing off his business as roadworks stopped punters turning up for their takeaway. Tony Doyle, 54, has claimed the 7.75 million pound cycle lane, which is even larger than the traffic lanes it runs besides, turned customers off. The businessman from Ferndown, Dorset, said customers were having to tackle a 40-minute drive home against the ongoing roadworks, resulting in cold food for tea. The enormous cycle lane has sparked controversy, with its 11 feet 2 inches width leaving a measly 9 feet 5 inches lane for lorries, busies and emergency vehicles. The width of the traffic lanes is contrary to Highways England guidelines, which state they must be 12 feet across. Locals have previously bashed the construction as a shambles with cyclists barely using it and drivers being forced to pull over to avoid crashing into oncoming traffic. Mr. Doyle, who owns Ferndown Fish and Chips Shop on Wimborne Road East only had 11 months of good business after he bought the business in May 2022. But as roadworks were put in place to build the 1.25-mile extension, the new cycle path quickly began to eat away at his clientele. The businessman sacrificed his savings to buy the shop from a friend, but now he has been lumbered with debt after chip shop closed when business failed to pick up again after the roadworks ended in June. He said, I was making a profit and then the roadworks started. Business takings were down 40% during that period. I had good customers and really nice people who would phone me and say, Tony, we can't come. It's taken us 40 minutes to get home. I had saved a bit and put it down on the shop. I thought this will do me until I retire. I'm in debt now because of the VAT and electrical and I couldn't save it by the end and the locals would just avoid it like the plague. He donated the last of his stock to the local community fridge to help families in need. The cycle was part of a £120 million scheme to make travel more sustainable and reduce congestion across the county. When completed, the cycle path will be 1.4 miles long and connect to a 16-mile route linking pool, Wimborne and Ferndown. The lane is one of four different cycling routes being built in Dorset, part funded by the government's Rebuilding Cities program. Mail Online has approached Dorset Council for comment.